Okay, you should now have your three images open within Photoshop Elements and the next thing we need to do is to crop these down into a size so they sit perfectly within our A3 final triptych. The first two are both pretty easy, we're just going to crop those in but the final image does need a little bit of rotation before we go in for the crop. So to rotate your canvas just go up to image, rotate and we need to rotate that counterclockwise. So if we just go to 90 degrees left and now very quickly just rotate our picture into the orientation that we need. So with all of our images now in the correct rotation we can now go in and just crop them to the size that we need. And basically with a pen and paper you can just sort of work this out and I've come up with the dimensions of a width of 125 centimeters by a height of 180 which will give me a nice 10 millimeter gap between each of the pictures. So I'm going to select my crop tool then if I go out to aspect ratio and use photo ratio I can actually see here that my resolution is 240 pixels and at the moment my width is 43 centimeters by 28 centimeters. So I'm going to reduce that width to 125 and then millimeters and my height I'm going to take to 180 millimeters. So basically 12 and a half centimeters by 18 centimeters. I'm going to keep the resolution at 240. Then if I just go control minus, I can just zoom out slightly from the picture. And what I want to do is just to crop in. So I've just left click and drag my mouse. And then if I click into the crop area, I can just move that crop into the position that I want. So when I'm happy with the crop position, just hit the commit button and that'll crop that picture down to size. Now if I go to the image bin at the bottom, I can do exactly the same for the other images. Again, just dragging the crop box to take in all of the picture that I want, double click it and that will confirm my crop. And I'll just do that for the final image as well. Okay, so we now have our three cropped in images. They're all exactly the same size. And before we go and place those onto our new document, what I want to do is apply a little bit of a layer style just to really sort of kick out those colors and get something which looks really quite arty and creative. So to do this, we're going to use blending modes and a very quick technique, which is always great for just really enhancing and getting a very stylistic look to your pictures. If we click on our background layer, drag and drop that onto the new layer icon, and you'll see the new layer duplicated there. Then very quickly, just go Control or Option U to open up our Hue Saturation dialog window. And we're going to drag our saturation right down to minus 100. So we we'll just click OK to confirm that. Now if I go up to my layer blending modes, and all I want to do is just choose Soft Light. So you can really see the difference that that has. It really pulls out the detail and also intensifies the color. So I'll just do that for the other two images. So as you see, it's a very quick process, very easy to do, and it really stylizes your pictures very quickly. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll leave you to do that to each of your images. Once you're done, just go Control E to flatten the soft light layer onto your background copy layer then we're all ready to create our triptych.